Hey guys, Jordy here, and uh, welcome back to the channel. After playing and streaming the game a whole lot more recently, uh, I thought that I would make a video on my best and favourite guns in uh, Battlefield 5 right now. The, what the video will be about is what I think are the most enjoyable and all-round guns uh, for you to use over time, both new players and competitive players. Uh, so I'll be presenting my top two weapons and also an honourable mention as well. Uh, of course, it's just my opinion and maybe not everyone will agree. It's mainly for entertainment. Hopefully it helps out a few new people. But let me know what your best weapons are down in the comments below and uh, why. If you enjoy this type of content, be sure to subscribe for daily streams and some videos. And uh, we'll kick this off first and start with Assault. So the Sturm Gewehr 1.5, or the Sturm for short, is a really solid option for the average player and players just starting to play the game and is a similar to other assault rifles and other FPS's so the learning curve is generally quite small and it's generally easy to learn. Uh, Battlefield 5 is simple in terms of its shooting and is often referred to as a laser shooter apart from the random recoil that turns up every now and then but that's a whole nother topic. Uh, the Sturm is also a full auto assault rifle and you can just run around and hold the trigger down at close to mid range and it doesn't recoil a massive amount that there can though there can be a bit when the random recoil kicks in but if you have basic recoil control capabilities then you'll be perfectly fine and you should be able to contest most players without trouble and or without getting stomped i usually set mine up for the aim down sight capabilities but it is up to you what you want to do with yours it's not the best close or long range weapon but it's definitely a good all-round pick uh, for most gunfights in Battlefield 5. Uh, if you want something that's more up close and hip fire sort of gunfights, I would go with the M1907 SF, or I would just generally recommend the Medic class. Now, the next uh, assault weapon that I would definitely recommend, some a gun that's similar to the Sturm, but has more of a high risk, high reward in terms of uh, your shot accuracy is the M2 Carbine. Uh, I've previously made a video on this as it's I believe the most underrated weapon that's generally slept on quite a bit. Um, it kills uh, I think faster than the Sturm Gewehr but that's if you hit all your shots so in a perfect world it is better but not everyone can hit all their shots. Uh, so if you're the more accurate type of player that generally hits all their shots or most of their shots uh, the M2 Carbine is definitely a gun for you. Um, it's personally one of my favourite, if not my favourite gun in the game for that mid to long range gunfights, but it, it can let you down sometimes in the short range against medic guns and the M1907, the Type 2A, uh, if you don't hit all of your bullets. So it's very unforgiving in that type of scenario, but it's definitely a gun that I would recommend if you're very accurate. It's got a very low recoil. It's all uh, vertical recoil, not much horizontal, so it's definitely a great pick uh, for the uh, a new player that has very good recoil control and is a very accurate player, then the M2 Carbine is definitely a gun uh, for you. And now for an honourable mention, uh, as BF5 has quite a lot of open maps and semi-auto weapons can dominate quite a lot, uh, my honourable mention is the Gavir 43 also known as the G43. I don't have that much gameplay that's good enough for this, but if you're looking for a gun that's good mid to long range in those wide open maps for the assault class, then I would definitely go with the Gavir 43. And I'll, I'll show my uh, specs on screen now also as well, just so you know what the gun is and what specifications I use for all the weapons. Right, on to the medic class now, a class that is made for that run, gun, aggressive playstyle, but also trying to keep your teammates alive and revive them when they die and go down. Um, my first choice for this class is the ZK383, uh, which is obviously a full auto SMG. It's a very good close to mid range gunfight with uh, some harsh recoil every now and then because of the random recoil. But on a, a general basis, it's a very good balanced SMG, good close, mid, and can be good at long range if you put it in that semi-auto mode. Uh, but that's obviously generally not advised. So I would recommend this to players that have been playing the game for a decent amount of time. Um, if you use this gun 
as your first gun come into the game you may struggle with the recoil control at first uh, but once you get used to it you'll see how good uh, this gun is and uh, there's a reason a lot of sweaty players use this gun uh, but the ZK383 is a gun that I would definitely recommend and is my number one weapon uh, as a medic. So my second choice gun in the medic class is the Tommy gun which I believe is the M1928A1 uh, but it's generally known as the Tommy gun. Uh, is a lot is a gun that's a lot more forgiving as you can get that 50 round drum mag which allows you to just run around hip fire spray and pray and mow down as many enemies as possible and it's a good close to mid-range weapon as all SMGs are uh, but more specifically the close range on the Tommy gun. Long range it's not very good and you should probably switch to the assault class uh, but this is a gun that I would recommend for all new players once you unlock it. Uh, before you unlock it though I would run the ZK and then maybe switch on to this weapon as you have more killing potential, uh, you have the potential to kill more enemies, uh, you don't have to hit as many bullets, it's just an overall uh, more forgiving weapon. I believe the recoil pattern is a, a lot easier as well at uh, the close range. Uh, so for newer players once you get the Tommy gun uh, I would definitely a gun that I would recommend using. If you're used to other SMGs and other FPSs where they have really good hip fire, high rate of fire, then the Tommy gun is for sure going to be a breeze for you to use. Its learning curve can be quite high at the start, but once you get used to it, once you get that 50 round drum mag unlock, it becomes a breeze to use and an absolute blast as well. While I want to give an honourable mention for each class, uh, the medic class I'm not going to give one. If I were to give one, it would be the Sawomi and or the Type 2A. Uh, but I believe these guns are a bit too overpowered and I don't really want to recommend people to use them. I believe the ZK and the Tommy gun are a bit more balanced. Um, you should never really use the Type 2A, it's way too overpowered, don't get used to it. Uh, so I recommend don't using the Type 2A, the Sawomi. I wouldn't use it first. If you get used to the Tommy gun and you want something a bit more high rate of fire than the Sawomi is what I go with, uh, but just please don't use the Type 2A, please. Now onto the support class, which I believe is a class for all ranges, your close, mid, long range. Uh, I'm going to recommend two guns for this one, and um, one which is, I think, extremely underused and at least in pulps and overused in comp is the FG42. Uh, it's a gun that can do close, medium, long range. It has very little recoil. Uh, the reload is relatively fast. The only downside is, is it has 20 bullets which for pulps uh, can be a struggle if you're not accurate and don't use every bullet to the best that you can. Uh, you will find yourself reloading a lot and it may be only getting one two kills per mag uh, but most of the time it's it's a guaranteed kill with this gun very little recoil and a very easy to use gun uh, so if you're a new player uh, this is a gun I recommend you aim to unlock I believe it is probably the last gun you unlock in the support class uh, but once you get this gun uh, unlocked once you rank that support class up uh, for me it's a number one weapon that you should be using it's easy for close medium long range I, I, it's For me, it's probably the best all-round gun in Battlefield 5, uh, so that's why I have it as my number one choice support weapon. Um, so I, once you get this weapon unlocked, I, I can't recommend this weapon anymore. For my second choice a support weapon, I'm going to keep this short and sweet. It's the Lewis gun. Uh, if you want an LMG that's got lots of bullets, uh, it's an easy spray and pray weapon. Um, very relatively low recoil. Uh, you can either have a 47, I believe, bullet mag or a 97 bullet mag. Uh, the Lewis gun is for you. It's easy spray and pray, easy to use, manageable recoil, lots of bullets. You get a bipod. It's basically like a more mobile MMG. Uh, so for me, the Lewis gun would be my second choice with the Bren. But I just believe the FG has a lot more use than the Bren. Whereas the Lewis gun is kind of like a more mobile MMG. You have that mid to long range, you have loads of bullets, and you have a bipod. So for me, I, the Lewis gun is something I would use. And then once I unlock the FG, uh, the FG is something that I would pick. Um, I'll show my specializations for both. Uh, 
play around with those, see which one you like the best. For me, the 47 bullet mag Lewis gun is the best, and the, I think it's the hip fire specs on the FG I like a lot more. It just gives you a lot more uh, versatility there. So those are my two weapons for the support class. Now, uh, the recon class, uh, which is a class a lot of people do camp at the back of the map with, and for me, misuse it in a lot of ways. Uh, so the number one gun for me is the trench carbine slash the PO8 carbine. They're basically the same gun in a way, um, but those two guns, the trench or the PO8, whichever one you have unlocked. Um, I use them with the sniper, the sniper roll and flares. It's more, I use it as more like just go around and spraying bullets, spotting enemies, getting up close and personal, being that aggressive recon. Uh, or scout, whatever you like to call it. Uh, for me, it's a class. If you use it that way, it can you can rack up so many points. And the POA and trench just help with that. You can be aggressive with it. Uh, with the trench, you can get that full auto mod. You can be up close and personal. You can win the odd gunfight with an SMG. Not many, but the odd one. Uh, mid range, you should be okay. Uh, but just getting those constant spots. Uh, with the PO8 and trench is just so much more useful than being an actual sniper uh, for me. So I can't recommend the PO8 and trench more if, if you run it in combination with the sniper perk roll and the uh, flares and the spawn beacon. Just so you can constantly get those flanks off or be up close and personal and actually helping the team. So while the PO8 uh, carbine clip is running in the background i'm just going to discuss my second choice which is the zh29 uh, which is the slr of the uh, scout slash recon class and um, for me this is a two shot at any range close mid long no matter how long it is two shot body shot uh, two shot headshot at any range you get six bullets once you get the attachable mag uh, specialization um, so you can get a maximum of three kills, maybe more, but potentially you can get easily three kills, two to three kills in a mag. Um, the gun is very underused, but very overpowered for me, me and I'm surprised it's never been patched. Uh, this is a gun I'd recommend using actually instead of an actual sniper. Um, if you're not generally good at getting those headshots, I would use the ZH-29. You've got so much more killing potential at that mid to long range. Uh, you'd be very lucky if you get those close range, unless the person you're shooting at misses all their bullets. Uh, but for me, this is a gun that I would recommend to any new player once you unlock it. The ZH-29. Run this with a sniper roll, ping people mid to long range, fire flares, get the spawn beacons down. Don't be too campy though, be the aggressive, not aggressive, but you know, at least in and around your teammates, making enemies weak. Uh, the ZH-29 is perfect for that. It's accurate with a 3-6 times scope easy to use and it kills in two shots it's overpowered so i would recommend using this instead of an actual sniper so yeah the zh29 is is my second choice on the recons slash scout class just while my specializations are on screen for the uh, trench carbine and the zh29 uh, the best pistol for me in the game is the Ruby. Um, I'll try to find some clips to put on screen uh, just to show you how good it can be. Uh, but yeah, if, if if there was a pistol that I could recommend you using from the start, it would be the Ruby. Maybe when you get that more skilled aim, get used to the game, I would go for the Mol 27. But for me, uh, the best pistol is for sure the Ruby. It's got a high rate of fire. It's got 10 bullets, a quick reload. It does decent damage, good hip fire. For me, it's just the best all-round pistol. It it does the job it needs to do. It gets you that kill when they're weak or you've run out of ammo. So if you're looking for a pistol, or you're struggling for a pistol, then I would definitely uh, recommend the Ruby to, as a, a pistol to use. So uh, those are all my best weapons for Assault, Medic, Support, Recon Scout, and the pistol. Let me know what your best weapons are down in the comments below. Let me know if you agree, if there's any different weapons you would choose, any different uh, any different pistol, LMG, anything that you would change, or any guns that you disagree with, or any guns that you think are overpowered, underpowered, underused, underrated. Let me know down in the comments. Uh, leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Consider dropping that subscribe if you're interested in more content like this. 
uh, let me know if you want to see similar videos like this. Um, I don't generally make videos like this, but I'm going to try make the odd few kind of tips video or or what I enjoy using or my favorite weapon or the best weapon. More videos like that. So subscribe for maybe more of those. Like I said, let me know down in the comments below what you think. I'll make sure to leave some timestamps down in the description just so it's easy if you ever want to come back to it. You can just click on them and go to Assault, Support, Medic, Recon, Pistol, whatever. It just so it makes it easier. But leave a like for the if you enjoy the content, consider dropping that sub and I'll catch you in the next video or stream. Peace.